Hello, good evening. How are you? Hi, Lee, can you hear me? Yeah. One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay. I can hear you. Good. Hey, good evening. Steve, Hi, how's, teacher, it, how's good it going? I'm doing well. <laughs> and Glad you, how was your weekend? Um, working. <laughs> oh. But it was it was okay. I honestly, I was really tired for some reason yesterday. I don't know why, but it was very difficult to to wake up in the morning to to get things going. At work, as I start at 5 a.m., so it's really difficult. How about you? Mm, uh, uh, today? Well, no, 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 today. This weekend, I be I started my vacations. Oh, okay. But this I, time I, is uh, like real vacations. You're not working. Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. That's good. So, what, what are your plans? Mm, I had to do different things in my home, but I think maybe on on weekend I I I go out and visit the this vol uh, Santa Ana volcano. That's good. This this Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. This coming Saturday. And, yes. Mm -hmm. And this week, this week, maybe on relaxing, mm -hmm. stay stay at home. I will stay home. Yes, I will stay at home. Yes. I'll stay home. 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 Does that That's work right. for you? That works for you, right? When when you see someone speaking, let's say, and you don't see his face, you know, you just see his factions and you you see his mouth, you can mimic what he says, right? Right. Yeah. Mm. I think it's it's good actually. It works. That that's called silabiado and it works. It really does. <laughs> Very good uh, when when you need when I need uh, to pronounce in a correct way mm -hmm. or in the intonation maybe there are many words that are confused when you speak one with someone and for example when you say can not and and maybe you saying can't cannot can't. Uh -huh. can't. I cannot and I cannot, I cannot. Mm -hmm. Americans emphasize uh when they neglect neglecting is 
saying a negative sentence, right? Saying that you don't accept something. So Americans use um, not contracted auxiliaries when they emphasize something. I do not want to do that. I cannot. I cannot accept this. I can't. I can go. That that sounds softer. It sounds softer when you say I can't. You know. Yes. That that sounds softer. But if let's say you insist and they will tell you I cannot go. I'm really sorry. See, that's different. Um, no, I won't do that. No, I won't do that. I will not do that. Do that. You see, they they emphasize by separating, mm -hmm. not 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 contracting, avoiding contractions, mm -hmm. and they do that when they are upset most part of the times. That's <laughs> like, like, in general, for for sure, I I swear. Yeah. Eight, imagine eighteen years of talking to Americans, and I, I always, I have noticed this trend on many Americans. Um, because they really get upset. You you even picture people, you know, when you talk with them on the phone, it's your tone of voice um, yes. tells a lot, your intonation. So when I'm talking with them, I'm picturing them, and, and I picture an American, a real, you know, a real American, a white American, they get really flush, you know, they get really red on their skin, and that's terrifying sometimes. Yes, sometimes happen. <laughs> sometimes it happens. Yeah, it happens sometimes. Yeah, that's it's true. Okay. Hey, what's up, Fernando? How are you? How's it going? Okay, good. I'm fine. You know, I'm fine. I am at home, but I'm still working. But here, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm here to to learn something. It's good. Yeah, this is the way. <laughs> but I go teach a uh, spy of the bad weather. <laughs> That's a good one. The spy the yeah. bad weather. Yeah, it's very hot here. The spy of the rain. Because the rain was a little rain. And the hot increase, obviously. True. Okay, I think we're we're eight now i have to go with the attendance i'm taking attendance too late lately just because I've, I, i've been waiting for the rest of the class uh tonight is our session number 18 wait a minute i missed no 19 19 yeah session 19 um so tomorrow is saturday for me tuesday for you oh. <laughs> It's Saturday for you. It's Saturday because Sunday is Wednesday for me. I rest on Wednesday. Not from you. Okay. Not from you. Not from you. I have to deal with you every, you know. But Wednesday. if you want. To. <laughs> 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 Come on. <man. laughs> It's still like. <laughs> oh my God. Gracias is back. How are you? Kind of. Don't say so so. Never say so so. Please no. Okay. Sort of good. Sort of better. Getting better. Okay. Don't never never say so so to your teacher. Okay. To me. Please. Okay. So I'm gonna do the attendance so we can move on and start the class. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Someone just connected. Okay. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Teacher. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez, Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Excellent. Francisco Eduardo Mejía, I'm sorry, Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present, teacher. Excellent. Gracias, Elizabeth Díaz Vázquez. Present. I was expecting something like present, teacher. <laughs> A family member just got sick from her throat and she was like this, you know, really strong. Okay. Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. 
Gracias, teacher. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Hmm. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. Este donde está, I guess. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Present teacher. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Thank you. Okay, let me correct something here really quick. Present teacher, Ana Claudia. Sorry. Oh late. my God, these people is always late, right? Oh, oh sorry. Uh, come on. <laughs> my internet is unestablished. So if suddenly. Unstable. Uh, unstable, I'm sorry. Unstable. Unstable. So if suddenly go out, you know what happened. <laughs> Has been in that way since 5 p.m. Just when I finish my my shift, it was mm -hmm. up and down, up and down, up and down. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I'm here. Mm -hmm. But you made it. That's good. That's awesome. Yeah. Hey. Long time no see. Long time no see. Cool. Mm, cool. To whom? <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> ah, come on. Welcome. Welcome? <laughs> come on, reply back to me. Hey, long time no see. How do you yeah, reply it's, it's to been that? a long time. Yes, it's been a long time. Yeah. You got it. You got it. How do you throw another question back? Hey, what have you uh, what have you been up to? You been? What have you been up to? What have you been up to? What have you been up to? Americans delete the auxiliary most part of the times, so they eat it. They go like, "What you been? What, what, what have you been up to? Hey, what you been up to? Hey, what you been up to? What? What been up to? What you been up to? Okay, what you been up to? What you been up to? What you been up to? Uh huh." So hey, far so, good. so far so good. It's been a long time. Hey, long time no see. Yeah. What did you say, William? <laughs> okay. Practice with me. Let's make this more dynamic. If you know the answer, just type it on the chat and say it. Talk to me. Once again, William, long time no see. It wasn't me, teacher. Who said yes? It's been a while. Uh, I don't know. I forgot. Who remembers? Okay, yes, it's been a while. It's been a long time. So, what have you been up to? Jose Wilfredo? Mm -hmm. Been too good. Again? What have you been up to? What else can you reply? Can complain. Mm -hmm. Can complain. Now here, question then, if you don't want to move on with me here in a conversation. What grammar tense should continue the conversation when you hear this question? What have you been up to? It's been a long time without seeing that person, so... Is it future? Is it simple present? Nope. No, could be present simple. I mean, present continuous. No. Yes, it could be present continuous, but rattly. What's the most 
appropriate grammar tends to re to reply to that question. What have you been up to? Past participle. Past participle, correct. Present perfect, you continue. And this is like a, tr a common thing. If somebody asks you something in present perfect, try as much as you can to keep the tense going, okay? Keep the tense. If you are asked a question in future, of course, keep it in future and so on. So here, present perfect. If something relevant happened in your life in this context, um, if I ask Ileana, hey, what you've been up to? And she goes like, oh, I got married, you know? Really? Yeah. And then I got divorced. Oh, okay. Me too. I got married and I have three kids. Oh, really? I got two. So you got divorced with two kids. Okay. And so on, right? That's past. Okay, I will be a little silent tonight because I have a problem with my eye. Got it? I got you. Not a problem. Hope you get better. Okay, moving on. What I'm teaching you right now is just common sentences that are um, stuck, let's say, on the, on the English culture. Um, when you move on with this conversation that we're having in past, sometimes it happens, right, that you go like, so you got married. Okay. And you got divorced. So you guessed something. Okay. It's like, how do you know? How do you know? How do you know? Look at my lips and don't close your mouth. How do you know? How do you know? How do you know? Like that. Eat your words. How do you know? How do you know? How do you know? That's literal, very similar to Spanish. This this sentence. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Then you go like I read it on the newspaper. Oh, I read it on the newspaper. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. What does this mean? What does that mean? Oh my God, that's a good one. Maybe that's like a good joke. It's a good joke. You got it. Oh, that's a good joke. It's like, I don't know if who who does this, but I read, I heard in some movie maybe when I when they say "buena puntada tío," <laughs> same thing, right? <laughs> Buena puntada. That's a, that's a good one. Okay. Uh, okay, I got you, Eliana. Thank you for letting me know. And this is very common in in English too. That's a good one. That's a good one. I'm just. Um, when somebody helps you in any way, what do you say? When, when you help some, when you receive help from someone, what do you say? I appreciate Thank your you. help. I appreciate it. I owe you one. I owe you one. Good. Very good. I owe you one. Okay. Have you heard the sentence, it's very kind of you? It's very kind of you. Or that's very kind of you, sorry. That's very kind of you. It's very kind of you. Instead of just saying thanks, thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Okay, and what about when somebody cannot help you? You request their help? And they go like, you know, I wish I could help you, but I cannot do that right now. Okay? How do you say? What do you say?
How do you say gracias de todas formas? Thanks anyway. Don't worry. Thanks anyway. Don't worry. No worries. That one has different uh, ways of use, you know. Uh, don't worry. No worries. Okay. Don't worry. No worries. What about if this person promised you that he or she is going to help you anyways? If... If I have the possibilities tomorrow, well, tonight, I'll let you know tonight, okay? I'm pretty sure I can help you, but I'll let you know tonight, okay? What do you say? And this is very formal. Okay, you say thanks in advance. Thanks in advance. This is something you can use on emails on professional emails at your work, you know, when you request assistance to your team, to your boss, you finish the email with this sentence. Thanks in advance. Regu regards, comma, and your name. And as I was telling you the, the word, right? No worries. Don't worry. It's okay. No worries. Not a problem. And so on. Do you have any other expression that you may want to share with us? Nope. Oh my God, I should start with the main topic, right? Now, when you don't understand something, let's say um, your boss gave you instructions and you want to make sure you emphasize if you understood or not what he or she said, you gotta say, did I get you right? Did I get you right? This is not like, excuse me, I didn't get that. I didn't hear you. Can you repeat? No. This is, uh, okay, so um, I tell Fer uh, Fernando, right? Hey, you got to bring the letter, bring the ladder, bring the ladder, put it on the wall, go upstairs, you know, on the, on the roof and clean the roof. Okay. And then you throw everything to the garden and you clean it up. Okay. Let me see. Did I get you right? You said that I have to go on the roof. You see? Did I get you right? Or the opposite, right? Oh, you're asking me to go on the roof. Did I get you right? Yeah. Okay. And last one, because you're bored, so we got to do something to move on. Um, I want you to explain this one to me. Don't take it to heart. What's the meaning of this sentence? Don't take it to heart. Don't take it to heart. It's not a big deal, maybe. Hmm. Not a big deal. What if it is? Uh huh. Maybe it will come accompanied by it's not nothing per personal. Maybe. Exactly. It's not personal. It's not with you. You know, I have nothing against you, but don't take it to heart. But I think you are a little selfish sometimes. Don't take it to heart. Okay. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. Hey, what's going on today? It's Monday. You should be happy because you got a job. You know, I have I have seen some friends, some people not having a job lately and having difficulties finding a job. There's a lot of people that I know struggling, struggling with finding a job. Why is it so difficult nowadays, guys? What do you think? Anybody? Okay. Okay, so tonight's topic is about discuss examples of ecosystem scaling barriers. Ecosystem scaling barriers. I'll show you a presentation in just a minute, but firstly, just to go along with the topic, do you remember 
Friday's session, who was on Friday's lesson, um, we were talking about scaling, right? I basically talked the whole class about scaling. So you tell me, what was it about? We were read a presentation about barriers, ecosystem barrier. Did we? Or no. But we were read a presentation. We saw a presentation. Yeah, we read a presentation. Very good. Which was about. That's not barrier it was about or... barriers but in which context the topic was relationship between scaling and social impact what was the relationship between scaling and social impact and yes we saw a presentation i sent it to you i think didn't i can't remember I didn't okay I said I will and I didn't okay I'll do it today tonight so uh tonight just to get things going I'll share with you a video that is on your workbook so we can start learning about how to run um on scaling and do you think this scaling is possible Hello. Okay, this is going to be a difficult class because nobody's participating. But anyways, we're going to stay here. I'll send you a, a link to your WhatsApp right now so you can watch the video. It's just two videos, one minute, no more than two minutes each. And this is on your workbook. Get it straight here. I want to see where is this this is all all our links on page 24 the first two videos basically so the first one is how some guy ruined it you know he was not able to scale his business or he scaled too fast that's the topic that's the first one and the second one is an experience as well on scaling a business for from two educators so get as much vocabulary as you can. We will share it together with the group. Okay, you may stay here in silent. I'll give you 10 minutes to consider the new words and understand the videos, okay? Let's go.
Okay, let me know if you're ready. Are you? Okay, so first of all, everybody, please help me getting new words you found on these videos. Scale back in the second one. On the chat, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Scale back, yeah, on the guys, yeah. What do you understand by that term? That is like going back in the browsers, uh, because I understood that the in the second video was with the two girls, right? Mm -hmm. They had like a successful uh, scaling stage in what they started. Uh, but then they decide to switch to another strategy with on another channel, a different channel. But it seems like it didn't work. So they decide to scale back. I thought, and I understood it's like going back, return to the point there where they were before making this decision. Is that like going starting, back, starting so over? Or? No, no, no. Going back some steps, uh, studying where they started to fail or the, where the changes happened, not growing. And then going back to that point and maybe um, fix what they need to fix and verify the new direction on new decisions. That is what I understood. I don't know. If I like that term, you know. Mm -hmm. Do, does anybody know about any case, any um, practical case about scaling back or scaling backwards? Maybe for me, with the experience he had, but he is not here. No, but think about it. Okay, if you don't know an experience, I mean, um, uh, I don't know. A practical case um there there is or there was i don't know a great um theory on i think it's discover or national geographic i can't remember but because i don't have i don't have cable by the way i just have the internet at home you know there's everything on the internet nowadays so the thing is that it's um it's about giants of the industry i think that's the name of the of the series it's a little documentary you know mini series and i saw some episodes i watched some episodes and one that called my attention was pepsi's unsuccessful story because they in in this brain this this term scaling back brought me back to this 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 moment when i saw that Two things, Coca-Cola tried to bring to the market a Coke with vanilla flavor, I think it was, and people really hated it. When the first time they tried to change the flavor of Coca-Cola, everybody hated it. It was like, no, 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 this doesn't taste like a Coke, it tastes like Pepsi, we want Coke back. And that just lasted like a month or, or I think, or a week. Have you heard of that? You never heard of it? Yeah. So there was a lot of competition back in the days with Coca-Cola and Pepsi. If you have seen, for example, Back to the Future. And then Pepsi. Pepsi unsuccessful story that was so funny because they tried four times to sell their company pepsi wanted to sell the company because nobody wanted pepsi everybody wanted coca-cola so if you haven't noticed and this will ring alarm you know or bring some memories to you to your head or make you land some ideas pepsi instead of going on bankruptcy back in the 80s, I think, or the 70s, they were very smart 
and they started buying brands so they could sell uh, fast food fast food brands can you name a business a fast food business in El Salvador where they don't sell Coca-Cola come on really when, when, pizza hut. Wendy's Wendy's Pizza when, Hut Pizza Hut yes and Burger King. Pollo Campero, okay. maybe. Burger King. I guess McDonald's no, as well. No. Pollo Campero is Coca-Cola. They, they sell Coca. Uh -huh. yeah, McDonald's has Coca-Cola. McDonald's has Coca-Cola too. But you From... know, back in the days, uh, when... Wendy sold Coca-Cola. Yeah, they used, they, yeah. used they used to sell. They used to sell. They sell Pepsi now. What about JFK? I'm sorry, KFC. <laughs> yeah, KFC, they, <laughs> they are Pepsi. Pepsi. And... Yeah. I don't know if they're the owners, but based on the documentary, I think Pizza Hut belongs to Pepsi. It's a it's a conglomerate of companies, you know, that they had to buy in order to sell their product. Can you believe it? I was like, what? No way. Get out of here. Guess what happened with Coca-Cola? They regret it. They regret it not having buy the Pepsi brand because if they will have bought Pepsi back in the days they will be the only ones on the market selling Cokes of I course that battle you remember it yeah because I was in the marketing department for for Wendy's and also Grupo Piramide so mm -hmm. one year in a one year in a head I don't know if it's correct to say that a year and a half I no we knew all the strategies in the new productions, films, movies coming in the next year. And you were like around in March, let's say in a year, March 20, 2022. And you already knew what will be the, the movies for kids and also for younger because you needed to work with all the Marvel company in order to work with all the POP uh, signs, but also with the toys. The toys, that is the, that was the, one of the first uh, primary things you need to look at. And Coca-Cola invested money and they gave money to all these franchises. And I was like in the year of that battle, Coca-Cola was saying something, Pepsi was saying on this. And at the end, Pepsi was so aggressive in the, in the, the marketing campaign or uh, the negotiation. Uh -huh. It was there an aggressive, aggressive negotiation because Coca-Cola thought, oh no, they're exactly what you said. Uh, they, uh, they thought, Oh, this this uh, business is always going to be with us. People just prefer, but people I don't. That was the year where Coca Cola, uh, I'm sorry, Pepsi started to make all these promotionals and advertisement with all the stars, all kind of singers, not only Latin America singers, also in the U.S. They made they invest in a big big um a campaign a marketing campaign, and that was a huge because. People was uh, identifying themselves with all those singers and actors, and then that is who that it was how Pepsi won at the end. And look at nowadays. Good. That <laughs> I think they went through their own struggle. Let's say, because in the states there's a lot of brands in reality. Dr Pepper is one of them. Oh yeah. And that's that's a very strong brand. Especially, it's, it's, it's like Lido here, you know. Those are like uh, what yeah. I call what, what I call nostalgic products. Mm -hmm. You may not see a commercial, an ad on the TV, you know, but it's there and everybody's buying it. Like Cola Champagne here. Man, the song. <laughs> That's moving. That that moves you, right? Now imagine, a, a, what are you, how, do, how do we call them? The... Distance Brothers. <laughs> ah. Right? Imagine what they might feel when they hear that song. Oh, my God. What I miss, what I really miss, and I don't know if they still produce it, is, is Oranjal. 
Oh no, on, I guess no. On on no no no, but on the brown the brown bottle the brown exactly glass no bottle. exactly no I don't think yeah. so maybe in Guatemala I guess I saw one of those. And yeah, foremost, but... foremost, mm -hmm. that was the best. All of these products were the best. Um, on my childhood, of course. Um, <laughs> yeah, and la la galleta de lido, the big one, uh, la, la super cremosa. <laughs> oh my God, you're so old. <laughs> <laughs> yes, like you. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. I'm getting old. God, those were good times. Okay, so any other words, vocabulary, guys? Come on, go to the chat. Okay, tell me about the videos then. For forefront? Forefront. I've heard that word before. What's the meaning of it? Is that a connector? I think, I think she said forefront, like put something in first place or for later. It's like very important. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's it. Very oh, okay. At first sight, it's like, yeah, I got it. Okay. Uh, that's very uh, okay. Forefront. So, what are the videos about? What was the first video about the guy? What happened with him? They grew uh, so much that they were unable to uh, give quality to their clients. So they they came back and they like scale back, and that way they could give more quality to their clients, like. Being able to monitor that better in a lower scale. You're talking about the two girls. No. No, the guy. The guy. So he didn't give proper follow up to the complaints. Yeah, that's right. So they they came back and they, like came back in scale, and they were able to monitor, uh, let's say, five stores instead of. And that way they could get a hold of what was going on uh, better or get into the um, root cause. Excellent. Thank you. Finding root causes of issues that, that arose or arise, I'm sorry, uh, when you were starting up is critical. I was thinking about, is it needed? I mean, at the beginning when you're starting up, do you think it's important to listen to your customers? Yes, right. As the customers are always the essence. I was thinking tonight before starting the class about a factor that, that involves, uh, I mean, after working in call centers for 18 years, I can tell you, there is no place among a call center or any kind of company, any um, niche of market, I don't know how to name this, any line of business, that's the word, any line of business where there's a specific, a basic thing that you must have on every person facing the customers. The main thing that you need to have, or they have, they need to have whoever faces the customers is customer service. It doesn't matter if you're the best salesperson, if you're the best technician, if your customer service skills are not good, <clears throat> you're done. I mean, that's not going to work. So for a start, for a startup company, uh, an entrepreneur, it is critical to listen to the feedback, read the feedback, get the feedback, understand what is the root cause of the problem and correct it right away. Okay. That's very important. It doesn't matter what kind of product or service you're selling. That's the deal. That's the thing to do. So, moving on with your textbook, um, on page 25, we have two exercises, basically. Exercise 8, which is 
some sort of grammar topic, but there's a reading that we need to correct. There's an excerpt, I'm sorry, that we need to understand, read, and correct. And it's regarding this topic as well. It's related. How to use, sorry. My internet is now failing. Really randomly. Okay. Do you see the screen? Yep. This is page, uh, yes. page 25 of your workbook. How to ex how to use expressions to signal conclusion. And this topic is related to scaling. So somebody help me reading. I need to get some water really quick. Me teacher. Sorry. Yeah, go uh, for it. In formal and business writing, it is expected that the writer hints the reader the discussion, explanation, presentation has concluded. Usually, the hint is a phrase or a word that implies the meaning of closure and your mic is off. I, can I continue? Okay. Why finally, in conclusion, to conclude, to sum up, and to summarize our phrases to sign a conclusion. They are considered cliche. It is recommended to alternate them with others like overall, on the wall, certainly, in the long run, in the final analysis, so on. Example. Example, thank you for, who's next? Just one. Per. <laughs> okay, novelty pioneers. Thank you, go ahead, Steve. Okay, uh, novelty pioneers or novelty execution. Uh, what will yield what will yield more impact idea innovation or execution innovation the question is relevant for those impact to entrepreneurs out there deciding when to scale entrepreneurs who follow the first kinders uh, play a great role trying promising models to scale instead of cre creating entirely new models or solutions these Subsequent entrepreneurs build our own existing breakthrough ideas that help them to achieve their scale potential. They help the potential to bring a stronger set to a set of skills and experience to the development of potential. To the development of an idea? On an idea that the original pioneer and as a result can be the very positioning to scale. They may they might also be able to take ex exciting models existing. to new customers, existing models to new customers and new geographics. In the final analysis, many of these entrepreneurs need to ex exercise a great deal of boldness and ingenuity and as they adapt <clears throat> and often take far beyond beyond those original ideas that inspire them. Okay. Thank you, Steve. I have a homework for you, Steve, and for everybody. If you want to do it, of course, um, go back to the video. I'll share this link with you on the WhatsApp group so you can rewatch the video whenever you have the time. And we are right now on minute, minute 56 right now, 5, 6, 56. So go back to this minute and rewatch this short part. Try to correct uh, what Steve misread, what areas of improvement he has on, on the reading. I'm going to read it one more time, trying to do it the best possible way. I don't know. Uh, let's see. So novelty pioneers or novelty execution. What will yield more impact? 
idea innovation or execution innovation? This question is relevant for those impact entrepreneurs out there deciding when to scale. Entrepreneurs who follow the first pioneers play a great role trying promising models to scale instead of creating entirely new models or solutions these subsequent entrepreneurs build on existing breakthrough ideas that have yet to achieve their scale potential they have the potential to bring a stronger set of skills and experience to the development of an idea than the original pioneers and as such I'm sorry, and as a result can be better positioned to scale. They might also be able to take existing models to new customers and new geographies. In the final analysis, many of these entrepreneurs need to exercise a great deal of boldness and ingenuity as they adapt and often take far beyond those original ideas that inspired them. To try to watch that again and understand it. So, what's the whole point of this? The sample paragraph announces that the discussion about when to scale will come to an end by introducing the conclusion with the expression in the final analysis. So, instead of saying finally, in conclusion, to conclude, to sum up, to add up, I'm sorry, to sum up, to summarize or saying in other words, I have heard that too. Instead of doing that, you can use other words, like overall, on the whole, certainly, in the long run, I like that one, in the long run, in the final analysis, which is what they have used here. So that introduces the conclusion, the short, uh, that part, you know, long story short. Okay, long story short, how do you translate that sentence in um, in Spanish when you use it? Oh, long story short. Para hacerte la historia más corta. No, 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 be more natural, honey. Ah, te lo hago well, más corto. Ajá, <laughs> uh ajá, -huh, uh -huh. it's, it's like, in short, I, I can remember how, how, how do you guys say that? Um, when you say, la cosa es que, right? In other words, I'm sorry, long story short. Yeah. I, I forgot the words. It's just that I, I never forget this this sentence, this, because uh, this saying, because a student asked me, you know, it's funny, uh, it's funny how some things get stuck on your head, right? I never <laughs> forget who asked me, who asked me that question, who was the student and, and where I was. I was in a patio helping her she was in advanced i think i told you right there there was a lady who couldn't move who who couldn't get a job my job was to get to get her a job you know uh, as a manager so but the thing is that she couldn't get a job and nobody else no other teacher no other manager had the guts the courage to tell her you are not getting a job because you have a salvadorian accent and on top of that you dress like a native Salvadorian to make it soft. You know, always wearing her ponytails. How do you say trends as in English? Girls? <laughs> I forgot. I can't remember, but the, the ponytails, you know. She used to wear trends as, and, and on top of the trends as some listones. That's the way she was. I mean, it was fine. She could speak English. She knew about grammar. She could express everything she wanted. But the thing is that he used to talk like that. And you know, like, like she was on from her Miguel. And it was difficult to get her a job, but she got it. She made it in the end. And she was pretty, you know, she was very good looking. Brown, I mean, brown skin, very like Salvadorian, but nice body and very beautiful face but it was just this detail you know i don't know why but anyways we corrected it and she this is one of the questions she asked me i can't remember her name for some reason <laughs> i'm not good at names so 
Up next, write a 10 line paragraph about a successful social business and use one of the concluding expressions about to introduce your conclusion. I need to hear your suggestions because for me, it sounds like a little bit boring. What do you want to do to make this more entertaining, more cheerful because you're dying? So give me ideas, shoot me your ideas. What can we do to make it more fun? To write this, we have to write a 10 line paragraph, but do we change the topic? Or do you find it fun to find a, that sounds redundant, but yeah, to find a successful story about a, a business, any business? Great. Is that, look at the chat. What? Maybe that's the name of. Braids? Oh, oh, yes, yes. Thank you. Trenzas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't remember it. I, 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 it's just that if you don't use something, it ruins. You forget it. And yes. That is the amazing brain, our amazing brain. That's our amazing brain. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Show me your ideas about a successful story. What are we going to, what can we change to make this more dynamic? Because you have to write this 10 line paragraph. It should be about a successful, a successful business, not necessarily a social business, but we'll be good to talk about it. Would you like to make it about a social business? Or just any entrepreneurship that you hear about? You tell me. Okay. So, so like, I don't know, Apple, Amazon. Yeah, why not? Yeah, there, there's a lot of stories, right, around there. Airbnb. About... Oh, how did that start? That, that sounds interesting. Okay, so I'll split you really quick. Um, So you can work on this. It's just 10 lines. It's not that much. We don't need a presentation. It's just plain text. But... Try to use what you've learned today, uh, how to just on the seventh or eighth line, you need to use one of these expressions, okay, to signal the conclusion, to, the, to, to let us know that you're finalizing the story by giving a short idea of what the story was about. Sounds like logical, right? Something mm -hmm. you must do. Okay. You can share your screen whenever you're preparing this with your classmates. And we will be four on each group. Please don't stay here. I'm making three groups of four. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's go. Yeah, paragraph use in, in conclusion, finally to sum up, summarize. Let's see. Successful social business. 
some checking some ideas yeah, the, the other day I was I was watch a video about Airbnb. Huh? Yeah, Airbnb was was founded in I don't know at the end of twenty uh, two thousand eight, I guess. But the the idea the idea emerged when when I don't know I don't remember the name of the of the founder, but and they are two two person or three person, I guess. But the idea emerged when when they decide to to rent uh to rent one air mattresses. I guess air mattresses is is um colchon de aire teacher. Air mattress or mattresses. But they decide to rent this mattress because uh, there was an, uh, a, a conference in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. So they, the, the initial idea was rent the, the, the mattress and offer breakfast. So they call it the, their entrepreneurship, air bed and breakfast. So is that of the uh, definition emerge Airbnb. Yeah, that air bed and breakfast. <laughs> so it, it was a it was a funny story because as because they they emerge oh when when that conference happens and when they when they saw that the idea was was a a successful or what's a successful idea they decide to to implement in other in other houses but at the beginning the, the at the beginning the the, 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 the business was uh, a fail it was a fail because uh, because people uh, doesn't like the doesn't like the, the, the mattresses that other people rent because the the, the rooms the room were dirty and disorder and you know you know it's in in other houses so they decide to visit uh to visit all the all the people that that offer the the room in in the app and they take uh take pictures and they invest in decorate the room and clean the room and take pictures and publish in the app and after that it was a successful and now Airbnb is uh is the one of the biggest company in the world. 
So, in, conc in conclusion, <laughs> in conclusion, Airbnb revolucionó. I don't know how to say revolucionó or revolucionó. Let me, let me one second. Allow me one second. Now, remember that you need to put this in writing. They decide to implement to implement it in other houses. Revolutionized. 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 Okay, in conclusion, there's going to be another way. Revolutionized. Or change. Changed. <laughs> Change. Mm. Change the 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 industry of hospi hospitality. Creating a an online marketplace. Change, oh, recast, refashion, we reform, remodel. Uh, teacher, could we take that uh, social business? That could be taken as a social business startup. If it was free, how could it become a social business? Okay. If it was a benefit for a group of people, that would be a social business. But think about it. Think about it and, and put, put it on writing, uh, adding the final um, sentence, right? Okay. Mm, okay. Uh, the, uh, in Google, successful social business, there are appears many pages. In, in the page, the efonderheart.com. Fonderhart.com. There are uh, the most successful social entrepreneurs of the time. What is the name of the page? The web page? Fonder, Fonder, let me, Fonder Hart. F O U N D E R J. Ah, yeah. Fun. Day mm -hmm. of, of all time. What is social? Do, 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 Applications to potential social media show. It's doubled to be the charming of the whole of the brings also during the days in college, students, storage, jails, services, harbors, fellow in the parking lot, which is not permanently living on the road, such as major trading and apartments. Many, many examples. Mm -hmm. uh, the the you mentioned the the second yes right about the yoga girl the book the book examples you can use other examples I guess you're writing it, right? Yeah, we're uh, reading. Trying to find something. Okay. Your classmates are working on a R R R R B M B. R B M B. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. That's a good example. Um, but the the thing is that I'm gonna make you think later 
how can you transform that into a social entrepreneurship? Mm, so uh, we're talking about right now about a social entrepreneurship. Not necessarily. I mean, it could be any uh, company, um, how they struggle to start up. And then, holy mother of God. What did you saw? A rat? <laughs> did, did, you, did, you, did you hear that? Did you yeah. feel that? Yes. I feel a kind of vibration here. Oh, right now. Did you feel it? Uh, I live very close. I lived very close to the volcano, and the first thing that I get on my head is my God. That was really strong. Really? That was extremely strong. I never heard that thunder like that. Anyways, wow. Um, so what was I saying? Uh, just any idea, you know, of a uh, new, of a business, how they started up, what struggles they had, that could be an idea. And But the main point right now is how you are going to emphasize that you're getting close to the ending, emphasizing using a conclusion expression. It, the story is very, in, in a few words, you know, what was the story about? It's going to be 10 lines, so keep it going. I'll just check on the last group. Okay. Thank you. Um, what do you think about? Okay, uh, I'm going to share <laughs> something in the, like on chat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can introduce some more information about their products here. Mm -hmm. Regarding mm -hmm. AI and other. I can touch computer quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like work related. Current has extended the. I, I will think to to say something like, uh, currently Apple Inc has extended its uh, uh, limits or horizons to some other. Uh, there's some other devices such as a such as AirPods, um, personal assistants, um, and so on. Like a services or something. Not not only devices. Um, uh, maybe uh, a services uh, about a uh, this kind of. Devices like yeah. a like a Apple Store and Face FaceTime Face Face ID. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, like uh, AI like I think we have a list of products. Apple Watch, Apple TV. There are some things that I don't even know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Apple Fitness, Apple Card, Apple De Developer. Yeah, this is products. Um... Spirit to work. That's is really good. That's is really uh, enough expensive for them. Yeah, that that's our experience about Airbnb. <laughs> yeah, 
We're still talking yeah. about Airbnb, teacher. Have you rent one of those, teacher? No, I was actually thinking about building one in, um, in El Puerto. So we we owned a house in El Puerto, but not anymore. Uh -huh. Not anymore. My my parents and my in laws decided to sell the house. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Even though and I told them the don't, don't sell it. It's close to Puente Chilama. Mm, I know what it is. It's called Morral. That's the way it's uh, called. Really yeah. But anyways, they still have another another place close to that one, but it's just the, the land, you know, it's just a piece of land. Mm -hmm. And that one was a house, I mean, in a corner, basically. But that is what it is. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, we're ready. Just a minute, I'll be, I'm... Okay, I think we, we're almost done. Let me just check on group number two who had a little bit of struggle. Did you write this down? I guess you did, right? Yeah, I sent the image in the in the chat. Oh, but yeah, I got it. Okay, okay, we'll see that in a minute. I use an import papers office is yeah, I know how to to uh, carry on the papers in the bus. Oh, okay, I got it. Mm -hmm. So I think that is a successful story, a successful company, Uber. So we can just write. Mm -hmm. if you want it. You ready? <laughs> All the all the it says on our hand, our head. <laughs> We got the idea, but we haven't got anything yet. But we're trying, just, I guess, in two minutes. Okay, uh, yeah. We're almost done. Okay. I don't know if you are going to write that, that word, Ileana. Like, the example we took is Uber and then Okay, just one more minute and then we'll go back and I'll leave you at last, okay? Three. Okay, thank you. Okay, let me just type in all the all. Important companies. Liana, I'm writing you and sending you. Maybe if you can. Or you have to come one of the important com I companies. You need to put one place to another. Yeah. I can. Okay, thanks. Sorry. <laughs> mm. 
What? I don't know. A little vessel of my eyes. My eye, this eye. Uh, I don't know, break, bro. And the, the blood flow into my eye. And I need to. Is it shaking? Uh, yes, I have. Uh, I went to the doctor. Uh huh. Yes, and he said me that I need to and not to be exposed to, to the light, something like that. Yeah, you should be wearing glasses. <laughs> no, really, you did. You should. Um, ophthalmologist. <laughs> and did, did did they do some testing? I mean, yes, yes, we did a little lamp that they, they put in the eyes in the. Uh, my uh, my mother-in-law they we just recently discovered that uh she had a bacteria she had a bacteria on her eye in her eye it wasn't easy to to detect it because she she was losing her sight on one of the eyes and then she was watching or seeing blurry she she was seeing blurry on that eye but then they discovered that it was a, a a bacteria, you know, on the eye. So they gave her some pills. It was removed. And later we're discovering that uh, it's actually a sickness that cats produce. And now, now we're waiting for some exam results uh, because we're afraid it could be something else. Hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully that's not your case as well. But my advice, listen to the doctor, do what they say, and get a good doctor. It's very important. Okay. Okay. So uh, let me share, let me go with group number one. Then we will go with group number three. And lastly, with group number two, okay? To conclude, whenever you're ready. All you have to do is read it. Just read it, uh-huh. Fernando, Jose, Wilfredo, and William. Oh, okay. Um, I send the pictures. Uh, William, do you want to read? Would you like to read? Would you like to read? Would you like to read? How would you like to read? Read. 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 <laughs> there you go. William, would you like to read? Better. Hey, we're staying tonight 10 minutes, Fernando, shall we? Sure, teacher. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, Airbnb was founded in 2008 by Brian Chesky, Nathan Lecharsky, and Joey Kevia. The company's name is shorter version of its original name, original name, uh, airbedandbreakfast.com. Chesky famously lived in Airbnbs for several months throughout 2010 in 2008. 11, Airbnb was established in 89 countries worldwide and hit a whopping 1 million nights booked, launching the company into a population over 1 billion as well as 112 million in VC investment, making Airbnb a Silicon Valley unicorn startup. In conclusion, Airbnb revolutionized the hospi hospitality industry by creating an, an online marketplace where hosts 
can list their properties and travelers can book um, accommodation worldwide. With time, the platform expanded beyond traditional stays, incorporating experiences and becoming a comprehensive travel platform. Uh, to summarize, Airbnb's success lies in its, uh, its ability to provide a platform that fosters men, meaningful connection between house and guests, offer diverse loading options, and promote local experience. It has transformed the way people travel and open, open up new opportunities for both the house and travelers alike. Excellent. Good job, William. A great improvement. Now, any feedback, guys? Not just about the pronunciation or reading, but or the lecturing, but can, following the 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 or grammar topic or punctuation topic, I should say, in this excerpt. What would you correct if there's anything to correct? Can we use two closing statements to, how do you call it? Closing expressions, conclusion, conclusive expressions, I'm sorry. Uh, you cannot see the screen, I know, I know, I know. Mm -hmm. Phrases to signal conclusion, that's what we're studying right now. So can you use two phrases? Hello. Uh, that will be kind of um, confusing for the reader to conclude and then conclude again. Yeah, that's like when you don't finish a story, right? <laughs> In conclusion, uh, uh, oh, but finally, that uh, you know, okay. Oh, but at the end, da -da -da. okay. That sounds like Phoebe Buffet. <laughs> that could happen. Be careful with that. Thank you, guys. That was good. Okay. Next, we have group number three. Francisco, Gracia, Luis, Albert, and Wendy. Uh, Steve, why would you be so kind to me, please? I'm going to show my screen. Apple in, <clears throat> Apple in has become one of the most successful business in the world today. Founded in 1976 by Steve Jones, Steve Wozniak, and Ronald Wayne. The company started as a computer manufacturer in 1984. Apple introduced its first Macintosh computer, which quickly became a hit ad and put the company out on the map. <clears throat> Since then, Apple has continued to innovate and release successful products such as uh, the iPod, iPhone, and iPad with a market value to over $2 trillion. Apple continues to be a leader in the technology industry. Currently, Apple Inc. has extended its horizons beyond devices and including services such as Apple TV HD, Apple TV 4K, Apple Store, Apple Arcade, Apple Business Essentials, Apple Car, Apple Developer, Apple Fitness Plus, etc. Ultimately, this, the company's success can be attributed to its focus on design, user experience, and brand loyalty. Experience in brand loyalty. <clears throat> Don't stop the sharing. Don't stop the sharing. Okay. Any feedback for your classmates? Everybody else? No, 
it's the copy. How can I correct him? Come on, guys. Well, I think you did a great job. A few little words that we need to improve businesses. Sometimes, guys, when you're reading, uh, you misread some words or you don't, you just don't read them, you know, because you're trying to read as best as you can. But it's okay. I remember articulation businesses. Um, Apple introduced. Apple introduced it, sir. This is not easy. Look, Apple introduced it. Apple introduced it. Apple introduced it. It's not easy. Apple introduced it. Oh my God. Apple introduced it. And this because introduce <laughs> is in past and it is the first rule of regular verbs in the past. So introduced introduced it and then you have another t -t sound introduced its first introduced its first introduced its first macintosh my god introduced its first macintosh introduced its first macintosh computer wow next um remember stress syllable stressed you don't need to say industry or industry it's industry industry <laughs> See, industry. Uh huh. Then, ultimately, all ultimately, 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 uh huh. That mm -hmm. a, a sounds like a. Ultimately. Okay. Uh, cuando yo estaba aprendiendo decía ulti ultimately, so don't worry. <laughs> it happens a lot. <laughs> yeah. With, the longer, the longer the word. The longer the word, the more your brain will try to read it as it is written. Again, the longer the word, the, the more the, word. the more your brain will try to read it as it is. And diles recuerdo, su cerebro siempre se va a estar peleando con ustedes por leer las letras como están escritas, porque si aprendió hasta ahora. So. Y entre mayores estés, peor es la cosa. So keep that in mind, okay? Uh, Last one, experience. 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 There you experience. go. There you go. That's the way. Thank you. You may stop sharing. Okay. And the last group by Eliana and Anna Claudia, I think. Endora. Oh, Endora. I thought you said Pandora. I'm going to share their screen. Is Pandora like an, an entrepreneurship or is they, they already existed somewhere somewhere else in another country, I guess? Yeah, in Europe. Mm -hmm. Like Saras? Mm -hmm. Pandora is a company. But I, I think Saras, Saras is a successful story, don't, don't they? They started selling clothes and that's it. Now that you name it, I, um, as a woman, I don't understand. I'm sorry, why them? I don't understand how you can spend money in those little things. I know. I know. Don't worry. <laughs> we, men, we men think the same way sometimes. <laughs> Mostly men, you know. Uh, I mean, we can wear the same clothes for, I don't know, many years. and Especially if you have kids and you're married, you don't, you don't think about Lower. I saw a couple fighting because the man didn't want to purchase one of those little things that was the cost was eighty nine dollars, and I was what? Mm -hmm. No, and she made a wow <laughs> scandal that you just gave. Oh, it's very expensive polo shirts. Maybe the the most expensive items I have are two two polo shirts. I mean polo the brand. Um, and those were gifted by my significant other. They were like 50 something each one. I was like, wow. <laughs> Anyhow. Okay. Whenever okay. you're ready. Uh, okay. You're going to talk about Uber or Uber. Uber? Uber? I say Uber. 
You were, okay. You were. With the necessity to move from one place to another and with the already existed but sometimes limited use of taxis and public transport, born in Paris, the now successful app Uber. The thought of using a cell phone to order a ride from the exact location you were standing was revolutionary. People will no longer have to wait, hoping for a car to pass or walk the streets in search of one. This seemed to be this seemed to please many people as you were quickly became popular. Thank you. Overcoming different situations like normal taxis, taxi companies going against them. Overall, Uber has become one of the most one of the oh, sorry, I ate a word like in that place became one of the most important companies to move people from one place to another. To conclude, Uber is not just another app to move. They are trying to survive and be part of the new era of digital businesses. Hmm. Don't stop sharing. Wait. Uh, mm -hmm. Hmm. <laughs> The I I have been seeing some. Remember, this this ones sound like cliche that the the page says page uh twenty five. The ones that sound like cliche are finally in conclusion to conclude to sum up mm -hmm. or to summarize. Try to use others like overall on the whole certainly, in the long run in the final analysis. <laughs> that was the the thing. I uh, just said something. You read something here quickly became popular overcoming different situations like normal taxi companies <laughs> against, against 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 there you go against against okay. mm -hmm. good job that's all race against the machine okay any feedback guys any questions doubts i think we got this clear right we got it covered okay this was an easy task for you. You may stop sharing. Thank you. Mm. Get this thing really quick. Okay, tonight's topic, we need to talk about types of ecosystem scaling barriers. Uh, but firstly, we have to, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I lost my consciousness. Okay, so we have to understand two concepts first before we move on with this whole ecosystems barriers. No, bueno, pues. Yeah, they were good. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm eating a tamal. And it, oh my God, don't say <laughs> that. We're in a diet here. That's Sorry. cruel. That's cruelty. Cruelty with many of us here. That we are a little bit chanchitos. Come on. Okay. Enjoy. So the power of business ecosystems. So first we have to understand what is an ecosystem. I'm gonna help you guys. I know you're very tired. Don't worry. A business ecosystem in this context, of course. The ecosystem on as we started before, is a complex system, a complex group of living creatures in um, um, in the limitrophe area. I just remember Perry, I'm sorry. Yeah, in, in an area, you know. <laughs> and, and then you have living creatures in that area. That's a an ecosystem, and that's it. You have plants, animals, and many other things, okay? But a business ecosystem is a complex network of interdependent companies, organizations, and individuals that work together to create and deliver value to the end customer. So in other words, a whole bunch of customers, I mean companies, that might or must, many times, share the same ideology, the same vision, mission sometimes, in order to serve to on a specific objective, in a few words, okay? 
that their main characteristic is that it's a group. Now, barriers to entry on this ecosystem, okay, on the ecosystem, are capital requirements, regulatory barriers, and brand recognition. We started this sort of may sound familiar to you because it, many words, many uh, topics may sound like you may have heard of them before. Capital requirements, large upfront investments. That can be a barrier for new entrants in an ecosystem. So let me give you a clear example on this that Anna Claudia mentioned without having a clue that we were going to talk about this, but it made me think about it. Franchises. Franchises. Becoming a franchisee. <laughs> franchisee. Ah, that uh -huh. be... Yeah, I was looking to make you understand it. Franchise. Franchises. Franchisees. You can be a franchisee of a 7-Eleven, which is the least expensive franchise in the United States. That's why there's a whole bunch of people from India, Hindus, owning these places. They actually get to the States. They legalize their status. Awesome. They own one of these businesses. And then they start calling their family members. Okay, come to the States. I'm going to open a store for you. I think it's like $10,000. No, no, no. It's not $10,000. $100,000. I think that's that's the franchise price. $100,000 compared to a million dollars to open a uh, what 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 did you say? Um KFC, yeah, KFC. Yeah. Or a Popeyes, a Popeyes in the states. That's like a million compared to 100,000 is nothing, right? So going back to this point, what's more likely to happen? Just to give you an example, um Opening a, a franchisee um, is easier. Franchise, I'm sorry, is easier. But who has $100,000, right? Here in El Salvador, <laughs> um, have you seen any growing business? But it's not growing. It's like more branches, let's say, in the last three years, three years. It's not longer an emerging business, but there's the national brand super selectors. <laughs> there's a what? Franchise. No, that but franchises, franchises. Uh, no, they're not talking about well, yeah, that's a franchise. No, no, super selectors is an is a no 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 right. That's a national company. No, but talking about uh, some sort of franchise model. Let me give you a clue for your campero. Mm. Mm -hmm. Don Pollo, right? Don Pollo La Neveria. They have grown. Oh, and Sarita is doing it now. And Pan Lilian. <laughs> During the last three years, those are the brands that have grown around me. I don't know. I have seen more branches everywhere. Okay. So El you can... Chori, I know, but they are local. El Chori, no. That that's um. It looks like a franchise. No, no, no. They are, they are local. They're local businesses. Yeah, but you know what's going on? Mm -hmm. Many people is adapting the idea. Yeah. And they're copying it basically. Exactly. Doesn't taste the same. Anyways, regulatory barriers. Uh, the rules and regulations governing an industry or market can be difficult for newcomers to navigate, as we discussed on the previous class. Every country's laws is like if they were built not to help entrepreneurs, but on contract, you know, not to help them, to be an obstacle for someone to start a business. It's not easy. Brand recognition, established brands can make it difficult for new entrants to gain traction, especially, and this, this, this will only occur, which is very common, if your product is already on the market satisfying the special need but if you build if you come up with something new to satisfy 
a bigger need or a need that is not covered, then it will be a definite boom. During the pandemic, we saw that uh, pharma value changed the way the model, the business model. You no longer need to walk inside the pharmacy, right? You can just go through the drive-through and that's it. So they uh, adapted the idea from another business model like fast food, right? You got the idea. Now, this is the main thing of the class types of ecosystem scaling barriers. So understanding that uh, we have an ecosystem and what could be a barrier. Now we have network effects. The value of an ecosystem increases as more participants join. Mind this. This can make it challenging for new entrants to gain a foothold. What's a foothold? A foot? A foothold. Here. What's a foothold? A secure position. A secure position. Thank you. A piece of the cake. And you entry um, an ecosystem, you know, where there are multiple companies already. It's like if you won the lottery. If you remember Titanic, the fat lady had just won the lottery. You know, she was a new rich, they said, right? Uh, that's funny. I never forget that sin for some reason. This is true. I mean, to feed on an already built, uh, I want to use that word and I can find it on my brain. Give me just a minute. The hamster, it just stopped. When you adventure on this, oh my God, I forgot the word. He doesn't want to work. Anyways, so <laughs> you know you have a hamster in your head, right? And he's in charge of the library. When you don't find a word, it's because he doesn't want to run on the little wheel, you know, just stop. Okay, so uh, it's not easy to adventure on this uh, world when there's already something built and you're the newcomer, the Rocky. Platform locked in. Once users are invested in a particular platform, it can be difficult to convince them to switch to a competitor. And again, the image, the perception of people about X or Y company, and you're just coming with this new thing? Mm, I don't think so, Rick. I mean, I already have my brand. I love this. Why should I take the uh, risk of trying this thing that you're selling if I already love this brand? You know, I have been drinking or eating this thing for many years and you come with this? Uh, I don't know. Yep. Lastly, data ability. I'm sorry, data availability. Data availability. Data availability. Access to valuable data can be a significant barrier to scaling as it may be difficult to expense or expensive to obtain. What are we talking about? Data significant barrier to scaling. Why? Why? Why do you need data to scale? As we were studying or watching on the video, getting feedback from your customers is very important. But how can you get it back? Um, maybe one of the challenges, and that's what's breaking and cracking my head with the project that I'm building up, is that that part, you know, that factor, how you get the feedback from car hold, I mean, from the um, clients, from the customers. If, for example, they are not familiar or they are not willing to give you feedback to fulfill a, a questionnaire, a survey, they just don't want to do it. Do you provide service to Claro or Tio when you call them? Yes, I do. Also yep. when I chat for the bank or all of them. But we are not normal, Ana Claudia. But what? <laughs> 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 he 
is true. I don't do it. Even though I work at a call center. I mean, I've worked at a call center for many years. I don't know why. I have done it a few times. Not always. I do. I do it because for two reasons. One is the only way that they can hear your dislike or likes. And the second is because... Mm -hmm. I, I always read very well because all the service, they have two parts. One is for the company itself and the other one is for the the employee. The yeah, for mm -hmm. the employee. And remember, some of them, they got bonuses for all of those things. That is why I always fulfill every survey. I worked for a call center where service were critical. I mean, if you didn't mm -hmm. get a, if you get a, if you got a smiley face, then you were fine. If not, oh my God. And the but issue it, in quality, you know, that the default is not for that specific uh, different measure. agent. Uh -huh. It's for other departments like technical support or the Sometimes. company itself. Exactly. Sometimes it happens. It's true. <laughs> Anyways, that's the way it works. Uh, of course, there's always something internal as Anna Claudia just said it internal barriers and external barriers. But when it comes to uh, scaling ecosystems, the culture in the organization could be a problem. Inefficient processes and limited resources. So really quick, culture, resistant to changes, can slow down efforts to scale an ecosystem. Um, we're talking about growing a company in a different way. It's not like you by your own, you're going to grow. No, you're joining an ecosystem. You're an understanding ecosystem as a network. Multiple companies and you want to join them and become part of them because they are successful. Stand on the shoulders of giants. Stand on the shoulders of giants. It's not easy. Um, however, there are many factors that you need to overcome before you think about joining these groups. Um, bottlenecks, interesting work. Uh, of course, it's two words, bottlenecks, that make it difficult to scale in ecosystems. So this process, um, any process that you may have whether it's sales, manufacturing, okay, or marketing even, can create a bottleneck. And you may be delaying the whole network, the whole um, ecosystem. So that's why that's a barrier for you. Limited resources, resources such as capital, talent, and technology can be scared of, scarce, scarce, I'm sorry, and may restrict the speed and scale at which an ecosystem can grow. So once you join an ecosystem, even if they are already running, you know, becoming more efficient, bigger, and you you get this hook, you know, you start working with them, you may affect that ecosystem, that network. I hope this is not boring for you. I love these topics, to be honest with you, but I wish we could put this in practice one day, you know, with that would be a great graduation project. Can you imagine? Okay, let's start a business. On this class, let's start a business. At the end of the class, we graduate, okay, but we got this project. And it's going to be a social entrepreneurship with InsaForb support. <laughs> oh, my God. And then see it functioning. <laughs> Amazing. We will continue with that presentation tomorrow. Don't forget it. Please be on time. I know it's difficult. Have some rest tonight and be more smiley and talkative tomorrow. <laughs> that is the most that you request, talkative. <laughs> Please wake up. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm staying with Fernando tonight for 10 minutes. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Bye bye, present. Good night. <laughs> David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Take care. Take care. Good night. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Blessings. Good night. Good night. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present. Thank you. Don't leave. <laughs> Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Might be working. Present. Hey, thank you. Gracias, Elizabeth Díaz Vázquez. 
Good night. Good night, Kate Wilson. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good night. Thank you, good night. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. So here again. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Thank you, good night. Juan good Miguel Pebran Mejía. Luis Albert C. Bonilla Canales. Present teacher. Good night. <clears throat> Wendy Patricia good night. Molina Duarte. Present teacher, good night. Good night. And William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See ya. Okay. Mr. Gonzalez, good evening. How things going right now? Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. My, my connection is a little unstable because, you know, the, the weather. Yeah. It's getting better. It's getting better right now, I think. Yeah. Okay. What was the last thing you remember? I, I, I remember I told you to start practicing on your way home. Uh, yeah, teacher, you you gave me uh, some roots. Like, I remember the. I tried to do some exercise on. Maybe it's ronchan.com. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ronchan. The audio. Yeah, I, I, I tried. Well, I was practicing some exercises and it was. Now this was in the in the first session that that we have in in this module, and in the last module you advised me that practice uh, the same sentence, and I don't remember that you advised me that I reviewed the, the, this this conversation to practice that conversation. Uh huh. What that was conversation. it? Uh, that conversation was about no the I phrase. It's serious. The phrase. Uh huh. About it. No, that's about it. That no, I can't remember the phrase. I'm trying to remember the phrase because it was something very common to use. Oh, the phrase. Yeah, it's was. Oh, no, no, I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember. But it's about it. Let's go about it. Okay. Okay. Really quick. Let me do two things for you tonight. Um, well, number one, uh, something easier to remember. Have you ever used let? Let, let. it apostrophe s. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. As easy as that. Just don't forget it. I mean, it's just something you can use in case of emergency, you know? Okay, uh, let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Let's go. Let's. Any let's, verb. Let's, yeah. Any verb. Any verb. Right? Any verb. Any verb. On its base form, let's see, let's eat, let's talk, let's. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah. Is it? So... <laughs> yeah, let's see. <laughs> so easy, let's... right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> now, you can always do it uh, like uh, singular, singular. Because this, the meaning of let's is not let is. Okay. This is a pronoun. Let us. Let us. That's a, an abbreviation, a contraction of let us. Okay. okay. Let's. Let us. Uh -huh. Let us. Right. Let us talk. Vamos okay. a hablar. Let's talk. Now, if you want to say something different you can change the pronoun and say let me talk let me talk let me walk let, let me, me see. see let me see <laughs> let me see let me think right some expressions may sound rude of course let me eat <laughs> oh, let, me, yeah. <laughs> let me do it sometimes let you need to make it. a pause hey let me do it I let know. me check it let me check it now you can keep changing the pronoun and say, let her go. Let her talk. 
Let her see. Mm -hmm. Let her see. Of course, be careful with the context. Let it be. Let very it important. Be. Yeah, very important. Let it. Let oh. it. Don't say eat. Let it. No, let it. Let it. Let it. Yeah. Let it be. Uh, the car is overheating. No, 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 no. Let it work. Let it work. Just for let a few a few miles. Let it work a little bit. It will cool down. The fan will turn on and the, the engine will cool down. Okay, let it work. Uh, let it set. Let it set. Let it set for a minute. No, let it set. Let it sit. Let it, let, it set. Set. let it set. Dejarlo reposar. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, in past. Exactly. So just a brief reminder. Uh, let him go. Let him stay. That's another thing for the pronoun of he. Is not him, is him. Him. Yeah. Let that's him. A, that's a very common mistake. Yeah. Many people yeah. say him. 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 Let him go. Let okay. him. Let him go. Let them let you. <laughs> you could say let you. Unless it lets you go. That's different. It's third person. It lets you tell. Hmm. Let him. Him, but him is like reading in Spanish. Him. 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 Con e. Like yeah, e. Exactly. Let him be, let him be, let him go, let him see. Let him, okay. Let him talk, the same as we did on third person, let her. Okay, so would you have 30 seconds? I'm going to do this on 30 seconds, I'm sorry, uh, 30 seconds. I'll just shoot you a word, I think we haven't done this with you. Um, so I'll just give you a word and you have to talk non-stop for 30 seconds, okay? Did we do this before? No. no, 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 no. Okay, so you have 30 seconds. The word for you, easy, is cars. 30 seconds. One, two, three, go. Cars. I, I don't. I don't have a cars. I don't have a car. But someday, I, I expected to, to get, to get one. So I. I always, I always, uh, I always want to to get a a black car, and the model, the model that I like it is Kia Soul. Okay. Good. Thank you. There's these are very good cars, actually. Yeah. But the GDI but. engine is is a big problem. The GDI engine, be careful. Yeah, and it's expensive. <laughs> yeah, to repair them is very expensive. Okay. Yeah, sometimes uh, you do this. Be careful. I don't have a cars. I don't have a car. I don't have a car. I don't have a car. I like the I fact that you're you're using that. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't have a car. I don't have a car. Good job. I always wanted to repeat. I always wanted to. I always wanted to. Wanted to. Wanted to. Oh, wanted. Wanted to. Uh huh. Wanted to. I get always up. wanted to get up. 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 Okay. Now let's put it together. I always wanted Spanish. to get a black car. <laughs> I always wanted to get a black car. Good job. I always wanted to get a black car. I always wanted to get a black car. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I always wanted to get a... No, I always wanted to get... Wanted to... Is until two. Wanted to. Exactly. Wanted to is wanted to. Wanted to. Wanted to. Wanted to. I always wanted to get a black car. Perfect. And the model I like... Now here. Grammar. The model I like it is. Yeah. The model I like the most. Is. Oh. The most. You cannot say just 
the one I like is no the model like the model I like the most the model I like the most is Kia so okay the model I like the most is Kia so the model I like the most is Kia so is Kia so easy you see and again yeah. just one phrase can keep you busy for a few minutes until you get it so practice 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 I always wanted to get a black car and the model I like the most is Kia so Good job. Okay. Well, I'll see you tomorrow, Fernando. Thank you for staying. Believe it or not. Uh, thanks thanks to you. Teacher is, it's a really good help. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Just text me if you need me, okay? Okay, teacher. Good night. Bye.